Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Atom Editor from Code Karikama with me Abhijit Jagdish. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at three different features of Atom Editor. One, find and replace. Two, folding. And the last one, three, grammar. Let's get started with the first feature, find and replace. It finds and replaces all the occurrences of a particular word in your file. As you can see, I have created a Python file here and I have named it folding find replace grammar demo. This file basically contains three methods in it. Method one, method two, method three, and finally it has also got a main section at the bottom. Also notice the name of these functions. What was supposed to be random underscore sampler and says random underscore sampler. You notice this and you want to change it. And you want to see if, as a part of changing it, you want to first see all the occurrences of this word, random underscore sampler. To do that, you double click on that to highlight the text and then you type control F. As you notice, that's gonna open this window at the bottom here and it has got random underscore sampler here and it says one of four. That means there are totally four occurrences of random underscore sampler in this file and it's pointing to the first. Now, if you want to jump to the next occurrence of random underscore sampler, then you can come here and click on find or as it suggests, you can click on F3. I'm gonna go and click on find. That's gonna jump from the first occurrence to the second occurrence. And in here, it says two out of four. That means it's pointing to the second occurrence of the four occurrences of random underscore sampler. Now to jump to the next one, I'm gonna go and click on find again. And then if I click find again, it takes me to the last occurrence of that word. And finally it loops back. You can also go ahead and click on find all. In that case, it says four out of four and it highlights all the occurrences of random underscore sampler in your file. How do you replace it? To do the replace thing in the same, when you do the control F and the same window in here, you can see it says replace in current buffer. Click here and then type in the word that you want to replace the random underscore sampler with. I'm gonna change this to random, spell it correctly this time underscore sampler and just to make sure that it's changed i'm going to put this extra bit which says changed at the bottom now as with find you can also do the same thing with replace you can either replace one at a time or you can replace all i'm going to go and replace one at a time just to demonstrate how it looks so if i click on random replace then as you can notice it's since it was pointing to the last occurrence it has changed that random underscore sampler to random underscore sampler underscore change. And now if it's, it's pointing to this one, the first occurrence of this, and I'm gonna go and click on replace again. Let's change it. If I click replace again, change the second one, and then change the last one. And then it says no results because all the typo is now changed. So that's all about find and replace. Let's go to the second feature on our list today, which is folding. Different people use folding for different purpose. I use it because it improves the readability of the code for me. To demonstrate folding, and let's say I'm not interested in this first method here and I want to and I want this to go away. In that case, when you bring your cursor on the left hand side of the method, you can see you can notice these arrows pointing downwards. And when you click on them, it folds the whole section of that method. And then you click again for the next one. It does the same thing. And then let's say we don't want to fold this whole function. I'm working on this function and I just want to fold this width part of it. In that case, I come here and click on this arrow next to width. It folds only the width section. So if you are to unfold it, you click on it again. And then to unfold this, you click on that again, unfold it, click on again. Some people prefer to use their mouse and some people prefer to use keyboard shortcuts. How to do this, the same folding thing with keyboard shortcuts? Let's say you are, you are here and you want to fold this first method. In that case, all you do is control, alt and open square bracket key. That will fold the whole section of the first method. And to unfold this, all you do is the same thing, mostly control, alt, but this time not uh, open square bracket key but you type the close square bracket key that will unfold it so to fold it control alt open square bracket 
and to unfold it, control alt close square bracket. So that was all about folding. Now the last feature of the day, that's grammar. If you have a large complex project that has got different files in it, like let's say PHP, JSON, HTML, Jenkins, and Atom tries its best to find out what type of a file it is so that it can set the syntax for that file. It does this basically by going through the file extensions like .json for a JSON file, .py for a Python file. If it fails to recognize the type of the file, then basically it sets the type of the file and its syntax to a plain text file. You could then go ahead and change the file out type, the right one if you want to. As you can see, Atom has done a fairly good job by identifying all the files correctly in this project. Uh, we have a set of files here, .css, .html, .json, .php files in others directory. Atom has, you know, recognized that, you know, these files correctly. But let's say Atom has failed to recognize one of these files. Let's pick this test.php file. This is a PHP file. Yes, Atom has recognized it correctly. Let's say this is not a PHP file. Let's say this is this was supposed to be a HTML file, but Atom has said this is a PHP file. Oh, that's wrong. So how to fix this? How do you change that? To do that, all you do is Control Shift L. So, so that's gonna open a new, this window for you. And basically, this is you know all the type of files that you can think about. So you know if you scroll down, C C plus plus C hash CSS, and it basically has a list of all the files that you can choose from. So let's say I want this was supposed to be a HTML file and Atom has wrongly chosen it as a PHP file. So to set that to a HTML file, I'll type HTML and that brings up all the suggestions and I'm gonna click on the first one. With that, Atom has set this file as an HTML file. So no, and Atom will remember this for the entire session for the whole project. Let's go back and set it to the right type of file. To do that again, Control Shift L. That's gonna open this. This was a PHP file, so we are setting it back to PHP. So far, using Atom for all these years, I have not found the need for this because Atom does a pretty good job at this. In case you need it anytime in the feature, then you know there is this feature that you can use it. So to recap, in this tutorial, we looked at three different features of Atom: find and replace folding and then grammar. Next one, we are gonna see how we can do a find and replace across the whole project, which I believe that's gonna be a short video. So, till then, care and thanks for watching.